So what's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at Flyme OS for our MI A1 slash Mi 5X. So if you don't already know what Flyme OS is it's the OS which has been shipped with Mizu phones and it's not as open source as MI UI but still you can port it to many kind of devices cause they are pretty much like another Xiaomi of China. They're good performance phones in like mid range to low budget price. But it kind of lost over to the Xiaomi cause they didn't ship out to many other countries such as India. Xiaomi has a great advantage in India. They had more money, they had more R&D and thus they went ahead. But back in the day, Flymoist was also another king and great alternative to MIUI cause of its performance. It was not as flashy as MIUI, but it still kind of looked dumb like the color or the font touch OS cause still the UI of it kinda looks like gingerbread, it's just plain and there are pretty much small little colors over here and there. As this port was initially made for Mi 5X, which is available in China in other some countries I don't know. But as I live in India, I have an MI1 as you can see Android 1. So this review is actually made for both of those devices, no matter what you own, but it would be a bit more stable on the Mi 5X, but pretty much features work the same. And the only bug that I've noticed over here on the MI1 is the mic sometimes just fails to work. Kind of like in this sound recorder, if I just uh, try to record, as you can see, internal application error. It will work sometimes after a reboot, but pretty much fingers crossed. Otherwise, it just works as it is. It's fluid. Like later, you can tap an app and it's just ready to open, as you can see. Pretty quick compared to the MIUI 9. MIUI 9 even like looks better, but as you can see, you still get your normal camera. And as this is a Mi 5 export, also the HDR is broken, which is very easy to fix. And let's just take a quick look around the OS. How does it look and what are the features? Well, I would not be explaining every single thing cause it would take like an hour. So I would be just going through the normal basic UI. As you can see, there is your quick settings panel. You get pretty much normal toggles and some interesting toggles like accelerator. Then again, we have VPN. Yes, you get a VPN toggle. Smart touch, which is just like an accessibility feature. Screen record, DND, and that's pretty much it. You get your normal notifications over here. You can expand it. Pretty cool stuff. On the bottom, you get nothing like color OS or something. And these are the normal set of apps. You do get G apps, so you can actually use it as your daily driver. And even if you're not caring about the Volti, you can always use Geo 4G voice app. And then again, the app UI is pretty much as I told you, it's simple like gingerbread. There's just low amount of colors and just plain UI. As you can see, the music app even looks just plain compared to the MI UI. Security app is pretty interesting. It almost covers all the dumb features which Android doesn't even need such as an antivirus. Let's just take a look. As you can see, it's scanning for malicious apps, which is no longer needed in Android Oreo. You get payment risk and everything. Pretty cool stuff, but no need. You get cleaner data usage and harassment blocking, which is kind of important in China, as I've heard. That's why it's also included in the Samsung phones too. You get normal permissions, just like MIUI. You can optimize it right over here. Going back, you also have clock and stuff. They look pretty cool, but again, extremely plain. And again, it doesn't feel like newer versions of Android. I hope in Android Oreo, they change it cause MIUI has changed it. MIUI 10 has just leaked for Mix 2 and it looks freaking dope. But let's just hop onto the settings where the real magic happens. As you can see, it looks like iOS. You get your normal features, Real is completely working. So all the networking features work. Notification status bar, pretty much the same. Personalization, you can control various of stuff such as Flyme OS thingies. Climb style avatars, then again team wallpapers, and pretty much all of the themes are completely paid. Like literally, I was not able to find any kind of theme which is good and free. Like look at it, 3 u one, 4 u one, crazy. Going down, you also have easy mode, which is kinda neat to be honest compared to the Samsung ones. Display and brightness, you don't get anything special over here. Going down to battery, you get still the same thing from the security app. It's just kinda like the MI UI. Going to the security options, pretty much normal things, but you do get guest mode over here inside and root permission, which is kind of first that I've seen. And yes, fingerprint scanner fully works. There you go, it's pretty quick. Scrolling down, you get normal thingies, but if you go to accessibility, inside over here, there are pretty interesting features such as open task manager, game mode. Game mode is pretty nice. Game acceleration really works in this ROM. Well, it is not a huge bump, but still you won't get any kind of normal hiccups. Going to the additional settings, you get some of the MIUI settings as it's based on the MIUI of Mi 5X. So if you go to the display, contrast and colors, you get normal features such as automatic contrast, increased contrast, which I really like and normal things. Lock screen, just pretty much the same and additional settings, you get button gestures and one of the most features that I would love in this whole ROM, headphones and audio effects. Yes, this would be a very nice touch for the Android One users. You can enable it when you just plug in your earphone. 
and down over here you just get your flame style then kid space nothing interesting going to the about phone mi 5x as it's ported android version 7.1.2 and security patch october 2017 pretty old to be honest and that's pretty much it now in order to install this rom i bet you're curious for mi 5x is the normal thing you have to unlock your bootloader for mi1 it's the easiest thing unlock your bootloader boot into the recovery go to wipe advance wipe system data now go back install search for the rom there is no need of gapps as it's pre included in this rom it just fully works just flash the rom reboot the system complete the setup and you're basically done this was a quick little review of the flame os on mi 5x and mi a1 i hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more mi a1 videos like this please subscribe down there and see you in the next one peace